Hey everyone, we're going to do another uh, Scratch Junior tutorial here. This is um, a game that I love to play with uh, with students. It's one of their, their favorite uh, activities. And this one is more of a video game type thing where we're going to be catching flies in the jungle um, with either a lizard or a frog. So um, first thing we're going to do is pick a jungle background. There's two that work for this. You can either do the um, this one, or you can do the river. Where's the river one? Uh, um, sh this one right here. I'm gonna do the, looks like a jungle. Um, and then I'm gonna get rid of my cat. And we're gonna start by adding some flies. Now, I already have some that are colored here, so we're just gonna add um, four flies. Now, you do have to actually change the colors. I already have done this a few times before, so I have some already pre-colored flies in here. So we'll do a pink one and one more, maybe a red one. Okay. Okay, so the trick to this is that you need your flies distance from each other on the left side of your screen. And obviously I wouldn't go this fast with my students. I tend to do one fly at a time uh, when we're working on this. So the important thing for this is that they don't touch each other because they're gonna fly back and forth um, at varying speeds. So this is also a way to show how to use some loops, which is what we're gonna do, and also show how to change speeds. So there's a lot of new blocks that we're gonna introduce with this. And then we're gonna get a frog. Okay, so um, let's go down and find our frog. So you can have them have fun with it. We've got some polka dot frogs that they made that are a little bit more colorful. And we're gonna put our frog all the way on the left side on the bottom here. Okay, so uh, first thing we're gonna do is write some code for our frog. So we're gonna have our frog move back and forth across the bottom of the screen. So that's gonna be 18 or 17 spaces. So we're gonna say when we hit the green flag, we are gonna have our frog move 18 spaces to the right and then 18 spaces to the left, and we're gonna repeat that forever. Okay. When we hit the green flag, he's just gonna move back and forth from the right to the left. Okay. Move him over a little bit more, perfect. Okay, so now with our flies, what I like to do is I like to start with a top fly, and I like to work my way down with the top fly being the, um, actually no, start with the bottom fly, work my way up. The bottom fly being the easiest one to catch and the top fly being the most difficult. So if we start with a purple fly, this is where it gets a little bit complicated. They have to make sure that they are selecting the proper fly. Okay, we're gonna have that fly move back and forth. And we're gonna say on green flag, move across the screen and do almost exactly the same thing as the frog, 18, and then come back, 18. And we're gonna have it move at a slow speed. So this is where you introduce those speed codes and why the speed codes have to happen before the movement code. So I'm gonna select slow speed. So now when I hit the green flag, you'll see that fly moves really slowly across the screen, making it the easiest one to catch. Okay. So then we're just gonna make it even more complicated with each fly. So yellow is going to go across the screen as well, but we're gonna have it do a repeat zigzag. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna have it maybe do nine forward and three backwards. And we don't actually need a speed code for this one because we're gonna do just the regular speed. Um, and repeat forever. So this one's gonna go multiple directions. It's gonna change directions there from time to time. Okay. Now the pink fly is going to go faster. Okay. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna go change our speed to the fastest speed. And we're gonna have this one go cross and back. Um, so uh, we'll do 14 and six with this one, and then repeat forever, okay? And then the last fly, we're gonna try to make that one even more complicated. So we're still gonna do a super fast speed, okay? 
Um, let's go nine. These are all, uh, you know, you don't have to do any specific numbers here. We just like to have them do, um, um, so they don't go back to the same spot. So these numbers need to be different. Uh, so we can do a few more. Let's see. Let's do 12 and then seven and then repeat forever. Okay. So now when I hit this, you'll see all these flies are all over the place and the top ones are the hardest to catch. Okay, so we've got all our movement codes done. Stop and back to the beginning. Um, so now what we're going to do is we are going to um, do our capture code. So this is the first time that you actually are going to use some of the new codes like the jump command. So for the frog, we're gonna do the when I touch a sprite, and this is the first time I introduced this command. I'm gonna say when I touch the sprite, which is the frog, I want the frog to jump, and I want it to jump quickly. Okay, so I'm gonna do the fast one, and I want it to jump and come back down, and it looks like we're going from two to the top, so we'll do 14. Okay, alrighty. So every time I touch the frog now, it's gonna jump up and try to catch a fly. Okay. All right, pretty good. Get that frog back to the beginning there. Okay, so um, this is how we do the movement codes and how we get the frog to jump. Now there's one more thing we need to do for this, and that is the frog is going to eat the flies, that's part of the game, and when it catches a fly, the fly is going to disappear. So that in this case, we have to go back to the flies, and we have to do an additional code that says, when my fly touches another sprite, okay? and I usually do something silly like this, say so when my fly touches a sprite, and we'll do a fast command in the beginning. We're gonna spin it, and then we're gonna make it disappear. And I'm gonna do this same code for all of my flies. Now you can, uh, if, you don't, if I didn't tell you this hack yet, uh, the way you can copy and paste the code is you can just drag this whole sequence up to whatever other sprite you need, and it will do that, so. Okay. Ah, okay, that one's got it, that one's got it. And the yellow one does not. Kind of annoying on the iPad, it like scrolls like that. I might have to redo that code for that one. Okay, so there, fast. And spin and disappear. 12 and disappear. Okay, so now this game is ready to be played. Uh, we can add extra things to it, but um, this is like the bare minimum. So let me go full screen here, and we will check this out. So, there we go. so now if I tap on my frog, oh, there we go, that one's gone. Got that one. And got both of those. Um, so that's basically the gist of it. Go back to the beginning. Now there's a few other things that you can add on. The kids love the microphone when you can put um, silly things in there. So you can do a different one for, um, for each fly. So you go back to the microphone, you can record something here um, with a microphone and then put it in. So you can say, I hate frogs. And then drag that in right here. So... Now when you catch that one, it says, I hate frogs. Um, and you can make a whole bunch of different ones, like yummy, dinner, um, they tend to get a kick out of that. So this is the very first video game I actually play with the students, hope you enjoyed. Um, you could do this for a lot of different ones. I've done this with like penguins catching birds. Um, there's an inverse of it where you can do it with fishing as well. Uh, you have to create a fish hook and then you do the reverse and it goes down into the water. So I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, look for more of my videos about Scratch Junior.